On paper at least, Bone Tomahawk sounds like a really exciting mashup of two genres. It's a Western horror, and so it's got cowboy hats and it's got gore as well. It starts out with a posse being rounded up by Sheriff Kurt Russell. Sheriff Kurt Russell, that gets you interested right from the start, doesn't it? After the doctor's wife has been carted away by a group of Native Americans, or are they Native Americans? Somebody's nicked her, nobody quite knows who, but they're gonna track them down. This posse that he rounds up is a really good cast. It's his elderly deputy played by Richard Jenkins. You've got Patrick Wilson as the injured husband of the doctor. He's on crutches throughout. And a really dandy Native American killer played by Matthew Fox in a white hat with a twirly moustache. The actors are good. The performances are good. The characters are nice. Once they actually get to the showdown with these cannibalistic Native Americans or whatever the hell they're supposed to be, it does go a little bit gonzo horror. It's pretty nasty. It's pretty gruesome. And at times it looks a little bit cheap. It didn't quite catch fire like I wanted it to, but it's always interesting.